Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you late today, 9.30 Swiss time. We had loads of fresh snow last night, so we went for a little bit of a ski this morning before work, and that turned out to be a bit of a longer ski uh, than we had planned. But boy, nice up there. Uh, loads of fresh snow. Caught the sunrise, so that was a nice way to start the day. Uh, let me do a quick... Uh, recap on where we are on this obviously um, we're long euros and now it's a tradable long here euro breakthrough 115 worked pretty well in fact 114.80 was the break as we talked about on twitter um, so now you're just trading on the long side um, buying anywhere between 115.30 and 115 the figure and today you can also sell stuff um, between 115.75 and 116 to figure. So you're just trading on the long side, helping your averages. Um, we took some money off the table, but we're core long, looking to get better averages and safer. And we're looking for a, for basically a move up to um, 116.25 is the first uh, first resistance. This is the 200 day up there at 116.35, but we do probably think this is going to go uh, back to 118. So we're trying to build safe longs so we can survive the chop. Uh, Dollar CAD has an interesting short term pattern here. Uh, 132.50 now looks kind of like weirdly interesting. Um, I don't know what's going on in Dollar CAD. Obviously, crude um, is up at 51.63. But if we do see crude start speeding left, um, which could do, because there was uh, the crude numbers yesterday were, were pretty bearish. Um, if crude starts speeding left, and if euro kind of starts, you know, trading on the lower end of the side, it looks like this dollar CAD could pop uh, through 50. So we're watching this pretty closely. Elsewhere, uh, I'm going to resell these boons. Uh, up near this 164.40 level. We're at 11 now. And ZB is bouncing a bit, but we're also going to resell this. Uh, we're, we have 146.27s in, so we, we're still on the short side of ZB. Looking for some consolidation here in the next couple of days. Just trading on the short side of the long T-bond future. What else? Uh, cable now, it's pretty clear. 128.18 is kind of a line in the sand now. And if we get some uh, movement up through there, I have no idea wha how this could happen. And certainly we're not trading much cable these days. But if you are trading cable, 128.20 means there's some good news. That good news could be anything, that Brexit is over, they're going to do another referendum, blah, blah, blah. Who knows what it could be, but... Technically speaking, 128.18 is important. Dollar yen's sell on rally. We pinged the highs yesterday. That was nice. Um, we're sell rally today. Uh, you don't want to get too involved here down in the low 10, uh, in the 107.90s. But any move up towards 108.30, uh, you want to sell today in dollar yen. All right, late start here. Uh, Sorry for the delay on the video. I will uh, catch you guys up with more sort of minute-to-minute -minute ideas on Twitter. Wish you much profits today, and I will speak to you tomorrow.